So I'm going to love the fact that right when I'm about to make my video, the sun finally decides to come out from behind the clouds. But it might go back, so if it gets like really dark all of a sudden, that is why. So today I'm here to do my first book review of the summer for 17th summer. I got this book at the library sale, I think it was like $1. And I had just seen it at like the bookstore or whatever, but it wasn't a book I'd ever pay full price for. But I am so glad I bought this. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Seventeen Summer was a book written in 1942 by a girl named Maureen Dolly. And this is kind of the story about the summer before she goes off to college, after she graduates high school. Um, this book, she wrote it, that's, she wrote it right after that summer too. So it's like, she did, the summer happened and then she wrote it. So it's semi-fictional, semi-non-fictional. So yeah, this book was written in 1942 and it has been re-released by Simon Plus in 2010. Um, I don't know if it's still the same print that's in the books now, if they're reprinting it, but this copy is in 2010. And so I guess I'm going to go into a little summary about it now. I have my little summary. So I'm, I'm going to read off this. Because this is kind of making me nervous. This is my first review. I don't want to mess it up. So let's do this. So a quick little summary is that this book takes place in Wisconsin in a town called Flat. Fla some French town, so some Wisconsin town with a French name. Um, for what I got from it, I couldn't say it, and I'm not going to attempt to say it right now because it would just be a disaster to Wisconsin. I don't know, insult to Wisconsin or something. But it is about this girl who one night, when she's out with her father, runs into because she stops into a store and meets this boy named Jack, who is the captain of the high school football, high school basketball team. She went to an all girls private school. And her friend dated him, which is not a spoiler at all, trust me. Um, and so she runs into him, and the next day, he comes by her house, and they start going out. And it is a story of the ups and downs of not only her first time dating, but her first time dating a most popular kid in town. His father owns one of the businesses. So it's really good. It's really detailed. Um, it's... A lot more than just the words and small descriptions of a normal book. This book definitely the descriptions match up with Harry Potter. Probably Harry Potter number three. Since it's not, I mean, it's a pretty big book. It's mostly descriptions actually. You kind of feel like you're right there with it in the town, um, feeling everything and everything. But yeah, there's lots of ups and downs. You feel for like all the characters. Most books in this genre, the teen YA novels, are just like the two main characters, the boy and the girl, and then like the girl's two best friends but no this book features the girl's family the girl's family has their own storylines the boy's friends who have their own storylines and it's just like it's in a small town and you know everyone in the small town and it makes you love this town and i kind of want to go find out where this town is and visit because this book just describes this town so wonderfully okay so i guess it's about all i gotta say because i don't want to spoil it too much it's a really really good book i would give it five out of five stars I would reread it, but I'm probably not going to because, like, this is the perfect summer for me to read this because I just finished high school slash college and I'm moving away like the girl does in the novel. And so, would like to reread this possibly, mm, right after I graduate college. I might do it then, just a little glimpse back so I don't forget what it was like to be a teenager. But I would definitely recommend this for anyone 16 and older. Um, anything that... Anything below 16, I wouldn't say. But the book is too old, but the, the storyline is probably a little bit too old. There's no swearing or anything in this. But this book being set in the 1940s, it's a lot different. It's a lot harder to wrap your mind around. Smoking is okay. Smoking in buildings is okay in this novel. If you like detailed books, read it. If you like romance, read it. It's not really a drag on, but it is a lot of detail, so it's kind of easy to get lost and everything. But it's definitely really good. But yeah. If you see this book, pick it up. I saw it bouncing over when I was there the other day. So I know it's still on sale. So yeah, if you're, if you're just graduating high school, I would recommend that you read this book. So good. I like, I can't read that often, but I think I read this book in probably four hours total. If I took all the times that I read and pushed it together, I read this book in about four hours, which is really good for me. So yeah, get it. Peace.